Welcome to our uh, second lecture of this class. So today we will talk about the basic uh, data types in Python. So those are the uh, numbers, strings, um, and also another very special uh, data of the uh, object that in Python, which is called variables. Uh, so before I start, so what is the hardest part of programming? Um, so actually, when every time when you learn different part of the programming language, the initial steps with programming are the most difficult. So because there are a lot of concepts that uh, you, you may never heard before. And also normally those concepts are very abstract, as we said earlier. So those are also formal languages. So you have to follow those syntax. So you, you should be get comfort uh, to seeing those errors. So treat those errors as those opportunities that you will learn something new about Python and also about programming. Again, the hardest part of programming are always the initial steps, the beginning part. And also when the error occurs in a programmer, um, the Python interpreter will do it best to help us think out where the problem is. So every time when you see an error, those errors will always tell you something that what happened. And it is always uh, give you the location where the errors uh, cr being created. And so you can check back and see how you can fix those errors or how you can debug those errors. All right. So before we start, let's see. So those uh, the comments. So comments are normally uh, the part in your Python code or in any programming code that are not executed by the interpreter. So when you write some when uh, when you create a Python code, and you may want something that can be ignored by the interpreter. So those tags are used to viewed by the programmers or by other people, by other human beings. So comments are used to explain or describe the purpose of your Python codes. Sometimes we can also use comments to skip a part of the codes. So for example, for the debugging purposes. And there are two types of comments. The first one is called regional comments. So that means that if you use a pair of those triple quotation mark so that means three quotation marks together okay and whenever you define type something within those pair of those triple quotation mark so those parts will be ignored by the interpreter uh, the second type of a comment is a single line comment so that anything that after this hashtag will also be ignored so let's see this example so here uh, we see we have the Python code that we have five lines. You can see in the first line, it is a, a three quotation marks, single quotation mark. In the second line, so there's a regional command. The third line, another uh, triple quotation mark. And also in the fourth line, it is empty. In the fifth line, we see print hello world, followed by this uh, hashtag, and this is a single line command. And when we run this Python code, and you can see in the output, it's only execute this part, the, this part being executed. Okay, all those, all the other parts has been, have been ignored uh, by the Python interpreter. All right, so let's see an example of that in our Python editor. So uh, let's go to AWS Educate and uh, in educate, make sure you go to the classroom and in classroom, we go to the console and within the console, uh, we search cloud nine. So here you will see that the environment that, that we created from the previous lab is, is still here. Uh, so let's open the I, uh, IDE, so the cloud nine IDE. So if uh, you haven't used the ID for time for like say for several days, so it may take a while um, to wait until the Cloud9 instance to be fully started. 
And once that has been started, and you can see that all the Python code are, and also the previous files in this repository are still there. So let's go to CD and go inside into our local repository. So that is I241. And we can, so now we are in this local repository. We know that we don't, we didn't change anything from GitHub. So that means they should keep the same uh, copy that uh, on our Cloud9 repository and also GitHub repository. But it is always the best practice that we we want to make sure that is a that we keep the same copies so um, the comment that to check whether or not we are on the same page is called git pull p u l l okay so this comment will download will compare our local repository against the cloud repository and if there's nothing change, and you can see that it's already up to date, so that's great. Okay, now let's create another Python file. So uh, let's say create a new file, and let's call it lecture2.py. Okay, so this is our second lecture, um, and let's double click. So now we have a new Python code or Python script being created. Uh, so let's try the regional comments so let's see type 3 uh, quotation mark so they can be either single quotation mark or the double quotation mark and let's say okay so this is a regional comment and remember that we close this regional comments and now if we run it and you can see in the output so there's nothing because it's a comment so that has been executed. And let's also try the uh, inline comment. So let's say print uh, quotation mark. And you can see it's in the Python editor, it's very nice. They auto complete uh, the quotation mark and also the parentheses. Let's see hello world. And outside of this parentheses, let's see hashtag. This is a single line comment. Okay, and now you can see this part has been ignored and this part is still here. So there are several uh, ways that we're using comments. So for example, we are using this one as a reminder for us what we are doing here. Or sometimes, for example, if I don't want to run this Python code, I can just put uh, a hashtag, okay, before this uh, Python code. Now, if I run it, you can see that line has been uh, skipped. Okay, so that is also another way that uh, to use comment. And in most Python editors, so there is a quick way. So if you go to edit, and comment and you can see you can use control and also slash okay to make a comment okay so for example if i delete this one if i hit control and also slash you can see here i just create i just make this uh python code into comment okay so that's very nice 